friends so today what we're going to do is we are going to draw a white rhino so let's see the supplies that we need we need watercolor we need crayons we need half a sheet of paper we need um something to draw a circle with or half a circle with or you can even do this without uh, using a lid okay uh, so this one is like i can fit in three fingers inside and then i have my pencil eraser because uh also some water because it is watercolor okay so um let's first talk about this white rhino why we are doing this lesson is because this week april 22nd it is a special day okay it is earth day right you guys know earth day right so earth day i thought um we should focus on earth or we should focus on fellow earthlings on this day and we th i thought uh we should focus more on um animals or plants um things like that that is in danger of becoming extinct um so white rhino white rhino you know um is an a threatened is in um so white rhino white rhinos um these uh, animals live in the african continent these animals are now in danger of becoming um an endangered uh, species or endangered animal the reason is um uh, long time back like um some time back when um africa um con african countries were colonized um there was during that time there was um uncontrolled hunting in the um uncontrolled hunting of um this rhinos okay it was one of the uh, main reasons and then there is also um so um why these animals could be hunted uh, why they were like a uh, majorly uh, hunt was uh, because these animals were not uh, aggressive animals they were like very friendly animals if you um try to go near them they are like they won't run away so they are like very friendly animals and then they and the reason was they had very poor eyesight so if somebody is coming uh, to hunt them they won't even see so that was one reason and um it was easy to hunt because they used to live in herds in groups okay so another reason why they are um uh, they are getting uh, extinct is because um people hunt them um to uh, get their horns the rhino horn is a uh, very highly prized in traditional ancient medicine and where it, they take the horn and make uh, them turn them into tablets for different treatments okay so due to this high demand uh, uh, of rhino horns people used to kill rhinos to get the horn okay so um let's uh, see how we are going to draw this animal and uh, at the end of this video i will put out um ways we can not just right uh, just not just the rhino uh how we can help um um our earth uh how we can uh, help our fellow earthlings um live a good life on this earth okay so right now let's focus on the lesson what we are going to do is we are going to place the paper or whatever we are drawing this way okay and then we are going to draw i'm going to divide this paper right in the middle so when we are using the paper you can fold it like that 
twice. So fold it like this. Just to know where the middle is. Okay. Match this side and this side. So that's how we find the middle. Okay. Now over here, what I'm going to do is on this side, I'm going to draw a U. Maybe you can use this to make a U or you can just see how I made the U here. So this part is going a little up. This part is like that. Only a little. This one is going more up. Okay. Now I'm going to con turn this into a V, connect this, draw a line like that, upside down U, connect it. Okay, now I'm going to make a curvy line like that. Okay, here. I'm going to, from here, I'm going to draw a leaf shape or draw a curvy line like that. And like that. Or maybe we can make a line like this, curve, another curve, and then like that. Okay. Now I'm going to, from here, this is the head. We are almost done with the head. I'm going to make his body a curvy line crossing over to this side a big backward c okay now we can see this part maybe we can make it downwards like that i'm going to make the belly his feet the back legs the other one here like that so the same length of this one I'm going to make another leg another leg in the back so this one will be a little bit higher because okay his mouth nose eyes Okay, so I forgot the tail. Tail. So we have that. So then this is a this line won't be there on the paper, right? So here what we're going to do is we are going to draw a horizon line. Don't okay. Maybe you can draw some clouds. Nice cloudy day. some grass okay and we are done so let's take the paper and draw this right on the paper we have already folded the paper um, I'm going to make a U you want can use this to make the U or you can just draw freehand right I'm going to make a U See that this side goes a little above the fold and this side goes a little bit more above. So this is small and this is taller. I'm going to turn this into a horn like that. Now. Like that. I'm going to extend a line and then I'm going to make a curvy line like that over here from here I'm going to draw a line like that a big curvy line line come I'll make a small C and then a backward C downwards okay from here, I'm going to make a 
curvy line it crosses the fold then this one is a backwards C like that so if you want you can turn it around and then make a big C make it I'll make a straight line like that down meanwhile I'm going to make a so I'm going like three finger space and then making a line like that the tummy so this is like a two finger space width for the leg the other leg so this is a little bit up can you see It should be in line with this one. The other one is higher. It should be in line with this. Okay. Let's add the tail. Eyes. Mouth nose okay so the rhino is done so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you can take your black crayon and outline this fellow okay So now let's draw the horizon line. Okay. Some grass. Okay. And a cloud. So while I'm drawing this, I was just thinking. Human beings are considered one of the smartest uh, animals, right, in the world. And what do we do? We kill things for fun. Animals, of course, they kill other animals, but that is only for food, right? If they're hungry, if a lion is hungry, lion will kill another animal to eat. But human beings, they don't kill animals don't kill other animals just for fun human beings do that that is one thing we should be ashamed of and human beings are the only species that are bad to its own kind also sometimes so i don't know who is the smartest whether the animals these animals are smart or human beings are smart so let's move on to coloring this uh nice friendly animal okay so though it is called a white rhino it is actually gray light gray in color so i'm going to take black okay and let me look at a picture of the white rhino okay so i'm going to i can't actually see his toes toes maybe we'll leave it white i'm going to color this cutie
so color lightly because or you could even use your pencil and color this so when you, you color with the pencil it is grain color right so that also works but His tummy is like that. I was wondering what was wrong with this. So. Okay. I'll use this pencil to color his toenails. I can put more pressure with this one. Okay. So next what we're going to do is I'm going to take yellow, yellow and orange, light orange to color the ground. like very dry grasslands so some places I'm just going to put yellow like that I'll go over that with uh, orange so it will be yellow orange I'm going to make this part a little bit darker to show a uh, shadow where the rhino is standing. Okay, just just like that. Now let's take white and color this. coloring inside the so if a little bit of uh, some spots we may not color because we can't see really well where we are coloring right it is fine because the cloud is not just pure white right so if some blue gets on top it is fine been using this watercolor earlier so it's I have already added some water to it to wake it up so if you are going to yours would not be uh, wide awake so mine is wide awake so you need to wake your colors add a few drops of uh, water in it swirl in it to wake it okay now I'm going to paint dip in water once your brush is dry and spread so because we used see crayon in those areas it is this is a super dark here I'm just going to be careful I'm going to make the outline here I don't want blue to get on the rhino so I'm going to make a fence around him I'm going to spread this paint because there was too much of blue on this side. I don't want the sky to be this blue because my paint was super saturated. Like I had added water earlier and I had used it before. So it is like 
very concentrated right now. So I'm just taking the paint from here and then spreading. You guys, what you'll do is dip in the water, dip in the paint and then paint. So each time your brush is dry, dip in the water, dip in paint and then paint. The rest is the same. And if there is uh, water pooling in any area, push it to the side. Wash your brush once you're done. Leave it on the side. Wait for this to dry. And I want you guys to um, take a picture of your finished work and upload to CISO or uh, Clever, whatever your class you use. And I would also like to see how this turned out for you. So email me your finished work with your name. You can write your name, room number and grade over here and email it to me. Okay. Um, so take a look. I'm going to put something at the end of the video to um, what you can do uh, to make this world a better place for um, other human beings and other animals that we share this earth with. Okay. So, okay, so take a look and let's all try and do our part to make this world a better place. Okay. So till we meet next time. Bye-bye.